Hello YouTube people. I have one subscriber on YouTube and I'm so grateful for that one subscriber. You know who you are and I'm thankful that you subscribed. It makes me feel like, you know, I'm not talking to myself. But somebody who's out there might be listening. But I'm not on here to get subscribers and all that, but I mean, if, if subscribers Wanna, if people want to subscribe, praise the Lord. But I just wanted to say that I'm an SRA survivor. And I was brought up in a satanic cult. I was dedicated to Satan when I was a baby on, um, on a stone altar. I was carved up. And they were trying to make me into something that they wanted, but God had other plans. They wanted to make me into a super soldier. But I said, hell no, you ain't making me into a super soldier. Only Jesus can do that. Okay, and you might think that I'm crazy talking about this stuff. And, you know, and that's okay if you think that. Because I know what's truth. Jesus is truth. And every man is a liar. That doesn't mean I'm lying, of course. That just means that God is truth. <laughs> but I just want to say, yeah, I have a lot of um, alter personalities. Probably more than, I, you know, that... I even know that's what they say, but it doesn't matter because Jesus is greater. You know, I'm going to be a super soldier for Jesus. And only Jesus can make me a super soldier, not man. Or the devil, or Satan. I grew up in Satanism, witchcraft, vampirism. I drank human blood for 17 years, on and off. Drink, drinking it, thinking I'm gonna have immortal life, you know, because I was, I was deceived in thinking that stuff. But I know the truth now. You're gonna see me one day come back on a white horse with all my brothers and sisters in Christ. We're coming back on white horses with Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. To, for a thousand year reign on this earth. And you'll say, that's where the devil and his angels into the pit for a thousand years. And peace will reign on this earth. And then after the thousand years, the devil will be led out for a little while longer to gather his army against Jerusalem. Or is, uh, Jerusalem. But they will be burned up by holy fire. And, and then the devil and his angels and all those will be thrown into a lake of fire. They'll be judged and thrown into a lake of fire for all eternity. All the ones that accepted the mark of the beast. Ones that ex ex rejected Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. But anyway, I don't want to get off topic too far but Jesus Christ is the way out of SRA or MK Ultra or anything like that Jesus is the way the truth and the life keep you know if you don't know Jesus accept him now before it's too late that's the most important decision of your life that you could ever possibly make is accepting Christ into your heart these minds and bodies that we have now, if you know Christ, if you have Jesus in your heart, His precious blood covering you, you will have immortal, glorified bodies forever. Jesus' blood is the only blood I drink, and I eat His flesh. He's life. The blood of this earth and flesh is death. For people that 
are in the vampirism, thinking that they've been reincarnated as vampires. They're going to come back as even a, you know, a stronger vampire or, you know, you're being deceived. There's no such thing as reincarnation. Is it a point? It, it is appointed for man to die once, and then the judgment. You can continue living in that dark world and reject Jesus, but I can guarantee you that one day you'll regret that. Even for a moment, a second in hell, you'll regret it. If you want real life, true. Immortal life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. You just have to believe and have faith in Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Repent of your sins and say, Father, forgive me. Come into my heart. Make Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life. Stop drinking blood. Stop taking energy from people. I also took energy from people. I was involved with the vampire coven. And that's what we did. And you know what? The flesh enjoyed it. My flesh liked it. But it was reaping death. The wages of sin is death. It's not worth losing your soul over. The pleasures of this world are not worth losing your soul over. Think. Wake up. Jesus is coming soon. This isn't a time to, to say, well, I'll do it later. You're not promised tomorrow. All these people that are vampires, they think that they're going to... um they have tomorrow that's just pride they could die like any other person and if they died in their sins like anyone that died in their sins will end up in hell whether you believe in hell or not it's a reality it's more real than this world because this world that we live in is perishing the unseen world is forever It's real. It's forever. Heaven is for real. Hell is for real. This life you're living in right now is temporal. Give your life to Jesus Christ before it's too late. I'll make another video about some other things I've been through later. God bless you.